All right, guys, it's turbo time. We're talking big turbos and big horsepower. Let's dive into this. So I have in front of me today the S400 Emperor kit that we're releasing. So we want to talk some turbo sizing. We want to talk about the new air intake setup we have here and how the new turbo system is modular to all the other things you may or may not be running on your truck that we already sell. We are in the shop today. You're going to hear some stuff going on. I apologize for that. We're prepping for Black Friday and for PRI. Let's just dive into it. So the first thing here you can see is the air intake. So obviously if we're going to an S400 turbocharger down in the valley, we have to be able to supply it with the proper airflow. So a standard off the shelf cold air intake is not gonna work. The lower air intake adapter that we run on our S300 Emperor kits, that is not gonna be sufficient for a 400. We're just flowing too much air it'll be restrictive. So we break it down, we have a really nice billet mass airflow housing. So if anybody's tuning, they're gonna like the fact that it's the same every time. It's not rotomolded. molded a nice six inch filter, huge five inch ID air intake tube that goes all the way down to the 400. The S400 turbo, we need to supply it air. So it's a big deal. We need to make sure we have no restrictions on the air intake track because the 400s, being that we can supply up to 1200 horsepower worth of air, we need a lot of inlet flow. So this air intake does that. One of the cool things about this air intake is it's not only for the S400 Emperor kit, it's actually for anyone running the piping kit. So if you're running a VGT charger, if you're running the S300 Emperor kit, this air intake can actually be upgraded and added to one of those setups. So more to come on that. It will be on the site. All that stuff will be explained. Diving into the rest, we still are running the same as the S300 Emperor kit. We're running the same T4 style exhaust manifold and we have T4 style S400 turbochargers. We're gonna be doing a 67, 83, a 72, 87, a 76, 87, a 76, 96, and an 80, 96. So we have about what was that, five or six different turbo combinations that are gonna be available for the S400. Those will also be in journal and dual ball bearing. The kit will include intercooler pipe for the hot side, the air intake, the exhaust manifold, everything you need to put it on. And it also includes the proper downpipe and everything to hook back to the exhaust. So, as I said, the cool thing about this kit is it is modular, just like our other S300 Emperor kit. The S400 is also a modular kit, meaning it'll run with our intercooler, it'll run with our piping kit, it'll run with a lot of the other products that we have. For instance, the dual fueler. The air intake clears the dual fueler setup. It clears the CP3 conversion setup. So that's one of the things we do pride ourselves in, being able to interconnect all our different pieces and change main components, but supporting components will still fit. That's a big thing here. So we like to do that for everybody. On this engine, is a lot of how we like to do our hot side. So, so you can see here we have the hot side. Obviously you got your down pipe. We utilize a factory style driver side up pipe. This never changes. So when we do the kit, you're gonna get the passenger side manifold and everything integrates. So you have no crazy up pipes wrapping up around there's a massive loss of heat, which hurts spool time. So we eliminate all that. We have literally one up pipe now. You're, we're, we're removing one out of the equation. This is the same on our S300 Emperor and the S400 Emperor. So that's one of the big things. Turbos work off of heat and exhaust pulse. That's one of the main things that they function well with. So, but exhaust pulse is a very big thing that we like to focus on as far as firing order, and making sure that everything is hitting the turbo at the proper time. That's why this turbo is set up this way. 
removing the up pipes out of the equation, making everything really nice and short, it's just better, it's more efficient. So that gets us covered on the hot side. The other thing I wanna to touch on, obviously everybody's concerned with, I'm sure, is power numbers. So obviously going to larger size turbos, they're not gonna spool like a small turbo does. So non-VGT, this is obviously gonna be a non drop into a stock truck style kit. This is more of a performance or racing application. And that's what it's focused on. Power number wise, with the 67, you're looking at somewhere in that 700-ish range, all the way up to the 80 being almost 1200 horsepower of support because we can go all the way up to the larger style S400 turbine, which is a 96. So good power support, nice range. Uh, these chargers with this manifold setup have really good drivability. Where you guys, one of the things that we want to do for you guys is get you a bigger video together with all of our turbocharger kit offerings so that you can really see what we have to offer as far as drivability, power combinations, all that. We have a lot of stuff from compound kits. We have another compound kit that we're working on right now that utilizes the larger S400 turbo and a larger atmospheric turbo than what we currently offer in the Death Stalker kit. So we have a lot of stuff coming. We just wanted to show you guys what we're releasing here on this Black Friday. So that's what we got. We got more coming. We're gonna dive into this way deeper. So hopefully you like it. If you're interested and you wanna learn more, you can check out the website. You can give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be more than happy to help you in any way we can. Catch you on the next one.